Come here, what about the situation with Peter Keane and how that was done? I mean, obviously this is a, a, a hurling show, but look, all GA topics are, are worth bringing onto the table. So Peter Keane can, completed his three seasons with Kerry, didn't win in All-Ireland. And there was, they established a subcommittee to confirm their senior football management for next season. So Keane will be in the frame, but obviously Jack O'Connor, he was talking up his, you know, he was talking in a podcast a few weeks ago just before leaving the Kildare job saying how attractive it is. Then there's a talk of a combination, maybe Seamus Moynihan and Donny Buckley. Um, so the, the chairman... Uh, j- just Shane, on, on the Donny Buckley one, uh, an email dropped there or a message dropped from Monaghan to say that their their management team would be staying as is for 2022. So that Donny Buckley thing might be off the table if if that if that uh, correspondence is, you know, suggests that everybody is still on board, which it does. Yeah. So, like, what do, what do you make of that? Do you think it's... Is it an insult to Peter Keane or is it like, right, that's just the way it's done. That's the procedure. Three years are done and then it has to go up to, you know, a bit like the Galway thing where it has to go to the delegates and it has to be an executive in this situation with Tim Murphy, Eamon Whelan, Peter Twist, John O'Leary and uh, Donald Daly. Yeah, no, I think it's an insult personally. And I, when, when you see it going to that, how many times has that happened uh, where the outgoing manager has remained for the year after? Yeah, no, it, it does happen, but like his tenure has not been overly impressive. And you know, winning Munster is nothing to carry, let's be honest. Yeah. And they actually lost it in the middle of his tenure. Tipperary won the championship, they were shocked by Cork, a team that they paddled unmercifully in this year's Munster championship. They couldn't be dubbing with 14 men for 40 minutes, they lose to Cork the year after, and then this year they get beaten in an all Ireland semi final. So I mean, I don't see how he stays on anyway. But um, yeah. to me, it's a vote of no confidence. Well, this, yeah, it's definitely a vote of no confidence. But they should just say to him, look, Peter, you've done the three years. Rather than putting you through this, which is somewhat humiliating, uh, like in the public spotlight, that we're going to just say, hey, you have to apply for your job again. We've seen this kind of thing happen before. Just, just say to him, look, we've talked it through here and, and we don't feel that we're going to continue with you. And it's best that you just put out a statement yourself saying, do you know what? I'm stepping aside. I've done my three years. Thanks very much and best of luck. Yeah, I think that's what will happen over the next while. Like, I'd be but surprised. It's too late now. It's too late now. He's already, this is already making him look. Yeah. Uh, making him look. Like, I'd be very surprised if he re interviews for that job. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on that one. If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.